Um, right now I would like to introduce uh, a lady that has spent uh, 20 years, over 20 years, uh, lobbying in the state legislature. She started, I think she told me five, but she was five years old. But anyway, uh, she was elected uh, in 2010 as the Conservative of the Year. She's our National Director, Janine Hansen. Now, I do a voter guide and have uh, every year since 1984 and ask those kinds of questions. So if you're interested in receiving it and you don't already get my newsletter, you can uh, give me your address and I'll sign you up today. But the reason I'm so excited to be here tonight is because Clive and Bundy is my hero. Yes. You know, Thomas Jefferson said, one man with courage is a majority. And we saw one man with courage, backed up by his wonderful family, standing against the feds, and that was a majority. Why did we the people work? It's because of one man with courage. Yes. You can imagine, you can imagine why the other 52 ranchers are gone. Because they didn't have the same tenacity and courage and vision and understanding and the willingness to sacrifice and take the incredible risks which Cliven has been willing to take. He has essentially fired the shot heard around the world. Yes. We cannot allow this incredible opportunity that Cliven has given us to die. Right now there's a bill which is in the interim of the Nevada State Legislature, AB 227, which uh, proposes the process by which the land may be transferred to Nevada. Yeah. The last time I talked to a, a Commissioner DeMar Dahl from Elko, he said 16 of the 16 county commissioners who had been attending those meetings was in favor of this. It's time that we are no longer serfs on the land in the state of Nevada. Yeah. 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 It is time that we become sovereign in our own state, our own sovereign state. It is long past time. We are not the servants of the BLM. Now, I brought some bumper stickers for all of you tonight, and it says, Bye bye, BLM. Yeah. John Adams said that without the right to property, we have no rights. So, what we can do tonight is really appreciate the incredible courage it took for Cliven to stand. You can't imagine who else would have been willing to do that. Who else? He told me that he got calls from all over the world, from the media. Why? Because they love the true American spirit that our founding fathers pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their safety. We will not have an America to give to our grandchildren unless we do like Cliven has done. And we stand with courage. And that is our challenge. It doesn't matter anymore what our neighbors think or what the polls say, but unless we start voting and acting and doing in a way that will make a difference for future generations, we are going to lose. But the one wonderful thing we saw when Cliven stood is that the people in America now understand that if they don't stand, they may not lose their land, but they'll lose everything else. They may not have any land to lose with the people that are in charge, but we are losing all of our rights every day. Every single day. We have the Patriot Act, the uh, National Defense Authorization Act. Every day, our, our God-given 
constitutional rights have been diminished. And Cliven gave us a reason to shout hooray and to stand for liberty. And I'm thankful to be his friend. Oh.